for you for guys today um, just about five books uh, I just want to go ahead and share with you before the end of the month and the first one is one I picked up at Barnes & Noble this is uh, Hour of the Zombie volume three uh, there's the author uh, I read the first two volumes I think it was in September uh, I thought it was really good a little bit of a different twist on the zombie apocalypse uh, we're f uh, basically focused at one school and we're following the lives of these three students this one here is Akira it's really like the main character and what's different about this particular zombie apocalypse is the way the virus acts in people it sort of turns itself on and off now Kira's two other friends seem to have come down with this virus and they start you know attacking each other attacking other students and stuff trying to eat them and then when it switches itself off suddenly they're back to normal and don't know what's been happening or what's been going on uh, so now like half the population of the school has come down with this and are attacking others and they're trying to, you know, fight them off and kill them off and um, it's sort of becoming like almost like a war zone and, and the thing with Akira is he knows his friends, they're, they're still there, there's something still there. If they can find a way to turn this virus around, maybe he can bring them back, but you don't know how it's going to happen. I think the artwork is pretty good in this. Um, you see a couple color pages at the beginning uh, and overall... Uh, I like, like the characters that, that we've come across and everything. The story seems pretty interesting, so I'm looking forward to continuing with that series. The next two books were a complete surprise. I stopped off at one of those little free libraries to drop off a bunch of books that I had, and I came across these two amazing finds. Um, first one is In Cold, Blo In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. I've actually never read this book, um, heard a lot about it. I know some schools have read it. I've never seen the movie. It's got a movie sticker kind of plastered right on there, but... Uh, yeah, it's sort of an American documentary about a true crime uh, where four members of a family were murdered and the Capote kind of goes in and tells the story about this, but I don't know much else about it, but I've always kind of wanted to read it and this is like a perfectly really brand new copy of it, so I was really happy to find that one. The other one was a complete shock, a uh, much older book here, but never heard of this, never read anything by this author. It is The Ghost Stories of Edith Wharton. Cute little paper bag. I mean, how perfect to find that in the middle of October, the ghost stories. Uh, and it's illustrated as well. Um, so there's various illustrations throughout the book. Um, I've, ne like I said, I've never read anything by Edith Wharton. I've never read, read Age of Innocence or The House of Mirth. Um, I'll just show you like the table of contents. Those are the short stories included. And another neat little find that was within the book was this bookmark. Of Edith Wharton. It's actually must have come with the book because it's, as you can see, the same um, photo of her uh, and a little synopsis on the back of it, which, oh, there you go, of the author. So, yeah, that was a, quite a pleasant little find there. I'm looking forward to reading those. Uh, and then moving on, the next two I found were at a recent library sale. Uh, I actually just went to today and I'm filming this now. Uh, one of them is a Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lankel. Actually, never read this book, uh, which is odd since it's sci-fi sci time travel. You think they'd be right up my street, but uh, as a kid, I never came across it and just just kind of heard a lot about it. I mean, obviously, it won a Newbery Award. I'm not sure when. Oh, was it 1960? Uh, what was it? 1963. So even before my time. Hey. Uh, but yeah, it sounds pretty intriguing. Uh, follows Meg Murray, her small brother Charles Wallace, and then apparently another young man, uh, Calvin O'Keefe, an athletic student, one of the most popular boys in high school. Apparently, um, they all go um, kind of get an adventure in space and time, um, trying to track down Meg's father, a scientist who disappeared while engaged in some secret work for the government. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to finding out what that is all about. And the last one was super exciting to find as well. Uh, this is The Mysterious Affair at Styles um, by Agatha Christie. This is a 1920 edition. Uh, this is the first novel written by Agatha Christie, the first appearance of Hercule Poirot. And apparently, this is the first edition of it as well. I went on Wikipedia to check it out to see, you know, if this was the first book in, in the Poirot series or not. And they only show a picture of the dust-jacketed version of the original publication in UK and US, and it is this cover. Um, and looking at the copyright page, I literally just see 
copyright 1920. So for all I can tell, it does appear to be a first edition of the book. It's in pretty good condition. The dust jacket's got a little bit of issues. There's some, you know, a little tear through here and a little hole, which actually discolored the book beneath it, but and there may be a little bit of, you know, a little bit of mold on there. I'm not sure exactly, but, and of course the pages have orange themselves a bit, but other than that, the binding all seems pretty well intact. Um, yeah, there was a pretty cool thing on here as well. This was written, like, I think during, it said during World War One, but there's a little bit right here that says, this book, while produced under wartime conditions, in full compliance with government regulations for the conservation of paper and other essential materials, is complete and unabridged. That was bizarre. <laughs> So anyway, the story is basically about uh, Poirot, who has just come to England because he's escaping from the war uh, conditions, and uh, there's a Miss Inglethorpe who's kind of helped him move um, move over to England, and yeah, I think he's going to be living nearby. But a friend of his, by the name of Styles, moves uh, comes to stay with this woman, and suddenly she's killed, and he's using his investigative skills to find out how she was killed. It's about all I know of the story, but I am looking forward to reading it. I think I read it once many many years ago I was checking on Goodreads and I had actually rated it surprisingly low <laughs> but uh, uh, you know I'll give it a, a new look on it and see uh, what I think about it although I don't know if I really want to read this edition if this is indeed a first edition but anyway I thought that was pretty cool I was like shocked to see the exact same dust jacket and everything on it so yeah anyway those are my uh, kind of mini book haul here to wrap up October and yeah see you guys next time bye bye